Uh, I mean, this is probably uh, the craziest year I've been a part of. I mean, um, you know, everything that could go wrong went wrong. Um, you know, with the the talent, the expectations we had, you know, we definitely have the team that is, you know, capable of winning a championship. We just never had the opportunity to put it all together. And um, it's just one of those years that, um, you know, you, you can learn, you grow from, but, you know, it's tough. And, um, you know, it's kind of disappointing because, like you said, the expectations were so high. And, you know, coming in training camp, we felt that. We, we felt that we should still be playing now. We should be a team that has the opportunity to win a championship. Uh, you know, it just, it just never came together. Um, you know, just you know, obviously they got to analyze everything that's going on. Um, you know, they got to figure out what direction, you know, we got to go. And, um, you know, that's the main thing. You got to figure out the direction we got to go, get the pieces that are, you know, that works for the system that we're going to run and, and go from there, you know. Yeah, we're going to talk. I mean, I'm, I'll be here all summer. You know, I'll, I'll be engaged. So, um, you know, I have until uh, June 30th to, for them to pick up my option. And, you know, we talked about it. And it's this. It's tough. So I'll be here. We're going to be in contact. And whatever decision they make, we're going to make that decision and go from there. Do you have any feel for what might happen? Do I? Uh, again, it all depends on what direction we got to go. You know, we, you know, we have to, the thing that we didn't do, we, we didn't establish our identity this year. And we have to have an identity of what type of team we're going to be. And, um, you know, obviously we have this whole summer, we have the draft to figure that out. And, you know, once we figure out what identity we got to become, uh, they're going to make the right moves to do that. Why do you think the, the identity could get established? I'm sorry? Why do you think that identity could get established? <laughs> Injuries. Uh, two coaches in one year, you know, not a training camp, injuries, um, injuries again, um, <laughs> another injury. <laughs> I mean, I think probably every every member on this team has been injured and missed a game this year, and I've never experienced that in my my nine years in this league, and um, you know. I think we have five guys have major surgeries. Like this is this has been a wacky year, and we got to get the guys healthy and really establish us playing together. We, you know, it's cool on paper, but you have to play together for us to be a good team. Hey Chris, playing with Dwight in Orlando this year with the Lakers, how do you compare and contrast the challenges he went through last year versus this year? Well, he wasn't healthy all year. You know, he had the back surgery. He wasn't healthy. He wasn't in shape. Um, obviously, late in the year, you've kind of seen flashes of you know who he is, especially defensively. Um, now he has a whole summer to to get in that type of shape and be the player that we've all known and become to love, and uh, that's the challenge that he has to take this summer. You played with Mike in New York. Uh, any difference in, in the guy you saw there versus the guy you saw there? Well, you, I mean, again, <laughs> we dealt injuries. Um, you know, he's coming in, trying to bring in a new system that, you know, this, this system is easy but complicated. You know, everybody has to be on the same page. And um, for him to have a summer to install that in the guys and um, understand the pace of it, um, you know, he needs that. Because, I mean, for me, when I went to New York, I was there all summer with David Lee. We practiced all summer. And that's how we built that chemistry because it was it's a, a chemistry and a, a tempo that you need. You know, it's something that you can't build on the fly. And, uh, and guys got to buy in, and um, he needs that summer and that training camp for it to, to try to work. Chris, is this way you took you guys off this amazing? Tip us off. I mean, I need a tip. He got a lot of money. I mean, I'm broke, man. I can't even <laughs> need that money. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, you know, um, I think he's learned from Orlando. Like, you know, I've always told him, like, you know, do what's best for you. You know, do what's best for you and your family, whoever makes you happy, uh, and and keep that to yourself. I mean, he's always been a, a people pleaser, uh, you know, always trying to go out into the media and, you know, get the media on his side. You know, 
for him is for about him and his family, what makes Dwight happy. And that's what he needs to do, whatever makes Dwight happy. Can he be happy here in LA? He could be happy here in LA. I mean, why not? This is a great city, you know, you know great town. Obviously, it's a, 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 a organization with, you know, great tradition and pride, you know, and he should be one of those guys that eventually get a statue here.